guys it's time for the Razorback IPA taste test been looking forward to this for a long long time right let's give it a pour one second Well then, there we go. <laughs> I have a feeling that when I prime my beer, when I when I transfer it into my barrel, I normally put about ninety grams in, and I have a feeling that it's beer, it's, it's over carbonated. So I think I might lower the actual amount of sugar that I put in because. I mean that's normally 23 litres in it, it's 90 grams. I don't always do it, I, I, as a rule I'm normally like top it up to about 20 so I can bump up the ABV but I don't know, something I've got to look into but wow, look at that. That's crystal clear. Well, I wouldn't say crystal clear, but that's pretty goddamn clear. That's lately that's a first for me. Just the majority of my brews that come out are really murky, and then a couple of weeks later, then they're crystal clear. But this one, I mean, this is only four weeks in the barrel. Um, I was going to leave it a little bit longer, but I, well, I want to dive in. I'm getting some flowery pine needles. Mmm. It's not overpowering with the hops. I believe these are Simcoe and Centennial, I think. Anyway, right, I'm going to dive in and give my honest opinion. Wow. Bloody hell. I've got goosebumps. And obviously you can't see them, but I've got goosebumps all like coming up. This is amazing. I was like, I was so, well, I've had bad reviews about this, Razorback. Um, Hamworth Homebrew. He um, binned his, apparently. And since I heard that, I was like, no, oh, I bought a crap bloody uh, festival kit. Damn, but I thought nope, sod it, I'll give it a go, oh man, this is beautiful, and I mean really really nice. Wow, it's got no, no horrible aftertaste, it's, it's a clean crisp finish it's a smooth drink I have no problems like well you saw I mean and, and this was the first ever attempt at trying this I'm just blown away that's that's a, that's a hell of this world I'm so happy that is really really made my day and I mean it's that's just well I've got I've got 40 pints left of this. <laughs> oh, that's cool. And my mate's down from um, New Zealand in, wow, well, less than a month. So he's going to be drinking this. And God damn it. Fucking hell, he's going to love this. So I'm not tasting any hops, any hop flavour. There's definitely some in there, 
because I know I'll put him in there, but no, um, you you can taste, I mean, it's not just all an old beer, it's got some taste to it. Um, oh, the hop aroma, like I said, it's not, there's not a lot there, but you know it is there, you, there's a little bit there, but I mean, it's not like my Cooper's IPA, that reeks of galaxy hops and i mean reeks that, that's also nice that's lovely but um but i think that overpowers the, the actual drink when it's too much hops you tend to just taste the hops and this i'm tasting the actual beer itself if you if you know what i mean Wow, that's smooth. That's gorgeous. That is yummy. Um, right, one second. I've still got the box. Right then, boys and girls. The Razorback IPA Premium Ale Kit. And it is a premium L kit, and it tastes like a premium L kit. My God, um, should be five point seven percent on here. By my calculations, uh, my original gravity was one o five o, and final gravity was one o one two. So the calculation made it four point nine nine. So I'm going to round that off. It's five percent cracking beer but yeah I'm not I'm not worried about missing missing out on the old point seven percent Christ that's beautiful what hops yeah hold on Simcoe Centennial and Summit and they've done their job beautifully because although I can't really smell them too much and taste them too much you know they're there and they just make this beer beautiful I'm gonna I'll tell you what I'm, I'm having another one I mean I won't have too much of it Okay. Seems to be a problem down there. Sorry about this guys, um that's not me, is it? No. Is it? I think I'm gone. Oh dear, I've got a problem. I've got a leak in the barrel in, in my Cooper's English bitter. Right, I'll be back. It's major problem with my Cooper's English um, bitter barrel. Uh, it's been leaking, apparently. well, I think it's been link leaking uh, for, well, what's the date today? Yeah, I barreled it on the night from it's the, like the 15th. Shit, um, underneath was a um, towel and that was soaked. Um, yeah, so the tap. See, those little nuts where the tap is inside, I can only do them up by hand, you know, by hand. I need to get a plastic spanner, a proper spanner to do them up tighter. Um, I've never had a problem with it before, but shit so i didn't know what to do um so <laughs> i just thought i'd turn it on its side let's fill up i turn it on its side see if i can stick my hand in there obviously i sanitized my hand couldn't get it in there because it's too much beer in there so i quickly got one of my fermenters sanitized that poured it in half of it and then i turned the barrel 
on its side again, sounds on my hand again, got in there, tightened up a little bit more, but I mean, that's what I've done last time, I tightened up as much as I could, um, but as I tightened up, I screwed the actual tap round as well, um, yeah, bloody nightmare, absolute nightmare, and then I re-siphoned it back in, um, shit, I mean, when I took the lid off the barrel, blimey, it smelled gorgeous, and I mean, it smelled, oh man, it's, I'm like, fuck, I can't let that go to waste, I did think, well, I'll scrap it, but, no, anyway, it's back in there, and I'll have to show you a quick, back in there, there you go, underneath there, right, I put a little bit of Vaseline in there now, but that was dripping, drip, 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 on the floor, I don't know if you can see it, that's wet, and I had another towel, and that was soaked, soaked beer, shit, um, anyway, so it might be infected, probably is, but, I'm going to leave it in there, see what happens. I remember last time I'd done this, I had trouble. Um, and I actually ended up pouring it from my, pouring my last Cooper's English bitter from my fermenter because I dry hopped it with um, flower hops and I couldn't siphon them properly. So I put a sieve over the barrel and I poured it in and there was so much air and air, aerated so much, I thought, shit, that's crap. But that actually turned out to be one of the best beers I've done. So, who knows? But anyway, I saved a bit. I mean, this is like, what? Um, a week old? Smells beautiful. Taste test number two. Oh, yeah. That's a week old. It's bloody gorgeous. That is lovely. Right. Okay. Well. Okay. Um, that's annoyed me now because I've just done the old raise mat. Oh, a little bit left there. Oh, you can see it. Well, that that was light and that's dark. You know. Oh man. What's going on? Um. Yeah. I was gonna do my spicy herb ale. Um review as well but i ain't got enough time youtube only allows me to do 15 bloody minutes on using the iphone uh, iMovie but okay so what can i do sit back and drink this i'll have to keep an eye on that daily updates the missus will go bloody ballistic well and i was supposed to go out as well i was going to go out see the boys have a beer with them but I thought I'll make a quick video and I'll go to Southampton watch the old football right now beer comes first oh shit anyway right well there you go guys I've had the good and the bad and the unexpected wow what a day. Right. Well, I'm signing off. See you later. Have a good one, guys.